Hello everyone, welcome to Zinc Tennis Vlog. Hello everyone, welcome to Zinc Tennis Vlog. Uh, today uh, I'm here with my partner Ben Zink and uh, we're talking a little bit about being enthusiastically passionate and how does that translate to working hard, being on the court, you know, getting the most out of your game. Um, ben and I have been working a lot with my daughter Lindsay and it's just been an interesting process that we feel that um, some of her fitness uh, has been played a part of it. Some of it just that she's more passionate about tennis. Ben, let's talk a little bit about um, the transition from her before we've been doing all the hard fitness work um, prior to that and now and, and the way she works now. Um, I think it has a lot to do with the confidence um, that the off-court work has to play a part. Um, she's done an amazing job working off the court and being intense and before that you know, she'd be on the court and she'd look at her tennis as kind of more of work than of anything else and it wasn't like it was fun and, and exciting because we were doing a lot of conditioning on the court and as, as so she looked at the tennis as part of the conditioning. Um, when we took the conditioning aspect off the court um, and put it into a different atmosphere she actually saw that she can push a little bit harder off the court and in kind of you know, realize that that's not necessarily what's holding her back. She can push through um, off the court, and then it kind of came back when she was on the court. She actually ended up working harder anyway because she was able to really kind of see that difference that she was making in, in kind of pushing herself. Yeah, I and I, I what I found so much was that uh, not that she wasn't passionate about the game before, but what I found that was so interesting was that you know once her conditioning uh, kind of improved you know, dramatically, right? Then if she was able to do the drills longer, and then when she played sets, it felt like it, she could get her feet to the ball, which in turn kind of made it more fun for her. And which I, it was almost like a reverse engineered thing where like we would we worked and worked and worked and we just couldn't figure out why, um, you know, not that Lindsay's feet were ever really bad, but we were struggling figuring out why aren't they amazing. And and so we both looked at each other and we're like, what well, what can we do differently? And one of the things that we just came up with is that what if she's just not as fit as we think she is? And so a couple of weeks ago, we started taking her to CrossFit, and Ben and I started doing it with her. And and so she does three CrossFit three days a week. Um, obviously, very watched over and making sure that she's doing the right form and those kind of things. And then she, we go to Cycle Bar twice a week. And I'm just telling you that those two things have made such a huge difference with her feet on the court. And then, like you know, that's actually, you might think, well, that's just a given. But what's the cool thing is, is that, you know, I started off the, the video by saying enthusiastically passionate. This has driven her passion so much more because it doesn't feel like hard work yeah, on the court. Absolutely. Absolutely. She, um, she's definitely enjoying it more. And she's understanding that, you know, being able to push is, is the key. And for everyone out there, it's it's so critical that you know we have a saying: you you don't play tennis to get in shape; you get in shape to play tennis. And that's something like that you have to do off the court. You have to mix it up, and it'll come back and definitely show itself back on the court because you're feeling stronger, you're feeling more confident, and right. you know able to gain confidence on it. And it, you know sometimes we when we're playing, we're analyzing so much at, at, at the same time that you know the fitness part is also you know just kind of extra where you separate it a little bit. It kind of comes back and helps a ton, and I think that that's really, really, really made a huge difference. And obviously, you can see the best players on TV; um, they're in great physical condition because you can't really play this this sport otherwise. Yeah. So I, I guess that. So I, I want to leave everybody with this uh, and make this one kind of a short one today because I just want you to just to talk to your players and you know. Are they as fit as they can be? And if you're not getting what you want from them on the court, or they're they're looking a little discouraged on the court, or they're looking a little bored on the court, you know, they you might be doing a drill where they can't keep up. You know, they just can't keep up because they're literally tired. 
And so, and look, we're just, we, Lindsay played a tournament this weekend and look, I feel like she's on a, you know, on a two on a scale from one to 10 on this journey because we've only been doing it a month. But in that one little, you know, scale jump that I saw in her game was just unbelievable. So I would say, look at your player and ask them, you know, how, you know, do they feel fit? And I'm sure they will say yes. But what you find out is that when you're practicing and you're doing drills for 45 minutes or an hour, an hour and 15, and they can't go hard, you know, they're probably just conserving energy. So, you know, look at a fitness program and try to get them fitter. And then in return, I think you get this, you know, this passion back in the game. Yeah, 100%. So I just want to thank everybody for listening. If uh, Obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'd love if you subscribe to our channel uh, on Facebook. You can go to YouTube. The more subscribers we have, obviously, the, m- the better we do. And also, I wanted to let you know that if there's any questions that you have, you know, you can email me at george at zincktennis.com, and we'll answer any of your questions on air. And uh, we just love doing this. So thank you so much for all your support. Have a great day. Oh,